Um, so where where do I want to be? Of course, like the model that's been used is you know like when I find like I've produced like a couple of CDs, right? Compilation CDs. Uh, what's happened is that like you've got a collection of really good songs, and you think in this year, let's suppose two thousand one, I've produced. 20 songs, right? 15 of them are really good. What am I going to do with them? The natural urge is to say, okay, I'm going to produce a CD, right? Let me produce a CD. Let me spend the money, get the CD out, make some sales, see how we can get the artist going, some money, make a name. Maybe somebody will see the CD out there. Maybe, you know, that's kind of where it was. Today, there's a very different approach to the thing in that you can still do that, but there's MySpace, the internet's there and all of that stuff. So, you know, you can pop it on there, you know, very easily and, you know, more chances of getting discovered, you know, from an outside point of view. Um, but you're absolutely right. Copyright, music publishing, setting up a record label. And you don't have to do a record label with a model that says, I'm giving an artist $20,000 advance. That doesn't work anymore. What happens now is more like P&D deals. You do a production and distribution deal for the artist. And you're, as a, as a small record label, you'll get tied into a bigger record label that can give you the distri international distribution and regional distribution you want. Um, yeah, it is something that I'd like to explore, but... But, you know, the music industry and, and me as a producer and myself and all the other producers and people, you know, involved in the music industry have to make this thing grow to a point where, you know, it's clearly understood the rules of the game, right? Like, I can't be running a record label and I'm producing, you know, it's like a business model, right? Like, you know, spending money to produce something that somebody, it's like somebody's taking your salary as you finish work at the end of the day. So, like, until we get to that point where I feel I'm comfortable doing that, the answer is no, like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not interested in doing any of that. But do I have artists that are capable? Absolutely. I've just finished a song for Glaze. You must know Glaze. Glaze is an amazing artist, right? Like, he's got a voice. Like, you listen to him, he's got a voice like any other, right? Emmanuel Duncan is um, one of the best producers I have worked with in Grenada. Um, I have worked with um, producers, you know, around the region, in Jamaica, Trinidad, you know, um, Emmanuel Duncan certainly match up you know to the, like the quality of production you know that we have out there so he would be one of the persons to actually help my music to rise even in Grenada and throughout the world if it reaches that far there's a couple of other um, reggae artists on the ground there's one Coxellas guy's got his own very unique style everybody may not like him but actually I think he's very unique he's a fantastic lyricist so there's artists out there today you know like if they had the right record label, you know, the right production behind them, could obviously make it, right? Are there any of the record labels in Grenada? I think there are one or two organizations, like Home Base, I've seen uh, a couple of other bits and pieces. Now, Full Moon was around for a bit. Guys that have already tried to create the record label model, you know, to sync. But unless we can get that industry kind of kick-started in Grenada, you're always going to be fighting locally, right? So, um, yeah, I think the pieces that... The Echo piece, the copyright organization piece, and as producers, artists, um, engineers, people interested in the music industry, we obviously need to have that organization that says, this is who we are, this is the rules we operate by, and this is the protection that the law uh, you know, affords us, right? Where does Grenada music sit compared to the other Caribbean islands in terms of quality? In terms of, you know, that's, that's a good question. Um, I mentioned this before, I think in the last, you know, 15, you know, 15, 20 years, we have, you know, maybe last 15 years, we have constantly been increasing the quality of our output, right? Like, like with anything, there are always the veterans, there are always the new guys, there are always the talent and the not so talented, right? Um, the fortunate thing about Grenada, I would say, is that there's more and more young producers and small studios starting up. That's a good sign, right? That's a good sign of more interest in the music industry. That's a good sign that we're all geared for the future. Right? Like, it's like what we call investing in the youth, right? So it's kind of like what West Indies didn't do. So um, we're doing that. There's more and more, you know, small studios, guys producing, trying new things, right? Um, what I would like to see from them is, is much more focus on actually learning to play an instrument and understand the theory of what's happening as opposed to just pulling bits, bits and pieces here and saying, hey, here's a track, right? Because actually, even though that sounds like it's in key in that, it may not necessarily flow. So it doesn't connect, the, connect you to the end consumer. But by and large, I would say we're heading in the right direction, right? Like, I've seen a significant increase in the quality of the output from the time I started to where we are today, right? Generally, we are getting better, I would say. 
there's more stuff being churned out. So that balance, you know, we'd, we'd have to, you know, take a hard look at it because um, obviously there'll be stuff churned out on the lower end and there's more stuff being churned out on the higher end. Where do we sit in terms um, in relation to the other islands? I mean, you can hear it clearly, right? Um, when a producer saw in Grenada, it'll play on any radio station, right? Like you play in Trinidad, it'll play in uh, St. Vincent and St. Lucia, it'll play in the other islands as well, right? It's not significantly different at this point in time, right? I would say we're just about on par with where they are. I think, you know, like Trinidad, obviously more producers. It's a bigger environment. Uh, there's there's more to learn. There's more to learn from the guys who have been around for a while or the, just the new styles of development, right? So one of the things that we suffer from in Grenada is actually if you're at the top, who do you learn from, right? So, you know, there's not a lot of places to go, right? And, you know, so it, it's a little bit different like that. But I would say like our music, generally if we were to take the best produced track in Grenada and hook it up against the best produced track in St. Vincent or Trinidad, yeah, we'd be right there with them, right? What's the advice you would give to aspiring musicians? Aspiring musicians? Um, well, you know, from an artist's perspective, I would say, you know, you need to respect your craft, right? And you need to understand that what you, you know, you think about why am I writing a song? Am I writing a song to get on the radio so I can impress the girls? Because, you know, like, there's always a, something to do with some girl behind some of it, right? So that's the reality. But I would say you need to respect your craft, right? Like, don't just write a song, you know, and try to get it on the radio because, you know, you want to be somebody on the radio, right? Like, think about what you want to do with this thing, right? Like, do you actually want to make money with it? Are you just you know, trying something, what, what do you actually want to do, right? When you kind of net that out in your mind and you know how much effort you really want to put into it or how much money you want to put behind it, right? So don't spend a week trying to figure out what you want to do with the song. But, you know, think about it. Like, how, how serious do I want to be? Um, you know, I would like to see artists spend more time, you know, refining that track, that song, that, that the lyrics, the melody before they hit into the studio. So actually, when they've hit the studio, they come to the producer and you sing the song for the first time, say, here's the song I'd like. There isn't an opportunity for me to misinterpret what you're doing. Because a lot of times that can happen, right? You come in and you haven't thought you the thing properly. You don't even remember the second verse. Actually, I'm already at the point where, you know what? Yeah, you're not serious, right? So I think artists kind of need to respect their craft from that point of view and, you know, spend more time. Not all the artists. Some of them are very good at coming and prepared, right? But when you come to a producer, you need to have your thing together, right? You need to take that thing as far as you can before you enter the studio. You save your time, you save my time, and actually the thing just gels a whole lot better. Emmanuel Duncan, thank you for being on Hitmakers. Thank you.